here in Melbourne on WCSM with Sean Rowe, the silver medalist from the 2010 Commonwealth Games in Delhi in the 400. Sean, thanks for your time. Thank you. Now you're here to help explain to the athletics community about the new point system that the Australian Athletics Tour will be incorporating. Can you tell us uh, the four divisions and the four champions, how will the tour be divided up? So basically the tour is divided up into specific uh, events. So there's the sprint hurdle event, uh, the throwing event, uh, the jumps and, mm -hmm. and the long distance event um, and how it's uh, worked out is all the people competing in that event are uh, com competing for points and then overall points are added up and the, sure. the winner is decided after that. Okay, now there's bonus points involved as well as I understand. How can athletes like yourself get the edge over their opponents? Uh, there's a bonus point score system for if uh, athletes perform and get uh, in the top 10 of the world ranking time of uh, last year. Yep. Uh, so for example, if you're within the top 4 world ranking time, you get an extra 10 bonus points. Right. And it uh, filters down from there. And uh, prize purse, there's a lot of dollars uh, involved this time around, which must be exciting for yourself and all the other athletes uh, around athletics. What sort of money are we talking about? Uh, there's uh, up to half a million dollars up for grabs. Um, well, for each individual um, event, uh, the winner will get $10,000. So uh, that's a fair bit of money for, yeah. for each event. So a lot of athletes will definitely be hungry for that um, extra pocket money. Yeah, excellent. It must be exciting. The crowds will get along. Um, we're showing a lot of it live on WCSN, free for the athletics community. Yep. As an athlete, you must be excited to uh, compete in these sorts of venues and in front of these sorts of crowds. Yes, definitely. Uh, and also, it's exciting for friends and family to be able to live stream it mm. and uh, check it out that way. And now you yourself, you'll be competing in the sprints and the hurdles. So who are going to be some of your uh, main competitors that you'll have to overcome? Well, I definitely think any of the 400 boys that I'll be competing against week in, week out will be um, tough competition. Uh, also, competing against Sally Pearson which will be uh, a very tough competition because, mm. you know, Sally's a phenomenal athlete. So uh, those are my main threats. And we spoke briefly off the top about your success in Delhi, a short notice joining the team. Silver medal, uh, you came so close, you must be quite hung hungry to perform well in Korea. Yeah, very hungry. I mean, I, I, I had the taste of having a medal. So I just want to go one colour better. <laughs> and the uh, domestic tour, the domestic season here, uh, the World Championships, it must all sort of in your mind be building up to London? Yes, it is. It's uh, building up. Uh, I, I have this continual saying that I have, which is 18 months, let's do it right. Mm. Just tell us a little bit about what the vibe's like in the camp amongst the other sprinters and uh, the guys that you sort of spend a lot of time training with. Um, the vibe's pretty good. You know, We're all um, pretty positive for the upcoming season. Uh, it's a new format, so we're very mm. excited to do that. And then also, you know, it's a good way to have bragging rights. So <laughs> I think if any, you know, if I jag the title, I'm going to let everyone know. Good. Uh, well, good I'm luck. the best sprinter in Australia. <laughs> good luck with that, Sean Rowe. Thanks for your time. Thanks for explaining the point system. We look forward to seeing you on the track Thank as you. part of the Australian Athletics Tour. Thanks, Adam. Thanks a lot.